It's the 25th of March 2024 and it's still meme coin season. There's a token that I'm interested in. It's called Greed. It'll be coming out possibly this week. I will be trying to buy some in a pre-sale round. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Nothing at all. In fact, I suggest you don't do any of this. I just want to illustrate why this is a better way of doing things in more of an experiment way as opposed to the current system. Firstly, this is a token, it's greed. It has not come out yet. Anything that relates to posting an address or anything like that will be 100% fake and it will be a scammer. This is coming out from Voshi and I'll give you more information on the entire greed experiment soon. But here is a little bit of history. Now, Slef, you probably are aware of this. They raised $10 million, then burnt all of the soul. Absolutely messed up. And from there, they managed to get some traction I have no idea what the token is doing. I think it's probably around a dollar, maybe 90 cents. And I don't care and I do not hold any of it. Zach XBT, this person investigates rugs, exploits, hacks, that sort of stuff. And he's mentioning how a huge amount of soul is basically going to all these influencers for these pre-sale coins with the hope of it being a 10x or a 20x or something like that. As an example, 7,000 soul sent to this person secretly pocketed 62% of SOL from pre-sale and did not fully distribute the tokens. 2,100 SOL sent to Jared ETH, a fake Jared ETH person. So Jared ETH is a an MEV bot specialist on the Ethereum blockchain and this is a fake person. And people sent another fake Jared account 440k for a pre-sale in June 2023. And the list goes on and this one here, ETH, rugged yet another token after 13,000 soul pre-sale. The amount of money that's just going into these things and it's just been extracted away from the ecosystem because people like to be DGNs is insane. Here is milk. Show me your milk tokens for an airdrop. Imagine that. I sent 2.9 soul. Well, here you are. Here's $47 left. Or this person. I sent 54.3 soul and they managed to turn it into $176. This is just stupid. These people are stupid. And this is a huge number of people that are in the space and coming into the space. It's just pure gambling. Go and take your soul, stake it with validator.com. And if you're gonna go and DGM with some, DGM with a small amount. Back to Zach, this person here stole six figs, then uh, decided to spin up the account by changing the name and trying to steal some more money. Now, the reason why all of this did really, really well is because of Book of Meme. This was the Solana address, don't send any Solana hair or anything like that. But it turned into this and it went up to $1 billion in market cap very fast. And basically, if someone put in about $2,000, 48 hours later, it was worth $750,000. And now the price has come down, but it's still at almost a $1 billion market cap. So people want to replicate the success of this. Then we have another one, snap, as you can see, up it goes and then down it goes. So if we have a kind of look from roughly this place to this place, then you've lost 90% of your value. So if you're buying around this level, you put in $1,000, you now have $100. Congratulations. Now we have this coin here, Zonk Coin Soul. Now I'm not going to buy any of these. They're all low effort, just rugs just waiting to happen. Maybe even saying that 99 out of 100 won't work. Maybe it's closer to like, maybe one in every 5,000 would work. And that's just the odds. So I don't know who this person is. I don't really want to say that they're not doing a, a good job because uh, maybe they are. They have the Game Ambassador badge like I do, but it seems as though they're just pushing anything. So they're using their platform just to push any meme coin. And I don't dig that. I find in general that these sort of accounts, they just extract value. Here's another one. I mean, you can just kind of see how it looks. Maybe this person is doing really, really well they're most likely doing really, really well because they get an allocation or something, they dump the allocation, and then, yeah, they make millions and millions of dollars. I have no idea who this person is. It is strange that this person has 1.2 million followers and gets such a lack of engagement, meaning they are botted followers. 1,000 likes with 1.2 million followers and not a single person that I'm following is following this person. Clearly, you can see the type of people that are in this they just want to extract money. Then we have this one here, last call for the mic pre-sale. This is the first time I'm reading all these tweets, by the way. My research assistant, he went and found some of these things. And now this one is linked to MicroShares NFT. And these guys are actually pretty decent, but still probably this is not going to be successful. Last call for mic pre-sale, but I don't know if they've actually shipped anything. 
once again, I'm just going to skip all these things. This page has been deleted, whatever this was. And as we look at the overview, an insane amount of money, 150 million from 33 pre-sales. This will not work out for people. It just won't work out for people. So back to greed. So I could go and pull up all the tweets, but I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. Voshi is a boogle. Now, boogles have a role in the Solana ecosystem that some people don't like, but I would say the vast majority of people do like. They're generally high net worth individuals. It's an exclusive club. There's a hundred boogles and some people in boogles actually own more than one boogle. One of these boogles sells around two and a half thousand sol, so a decent amount of money, and they get access to pre-sales, angel investing, and all these sort of things. They also have a bit of a code of conduct. If someone actually rips off another person in a bad way, or if they go and rug or do something that damages the Solana ecosystem, then they're out. That's just how it works. And probably having a boogle probably will make you a few million dollars if you already have the capital to go and invest. It's just the way angel investing works. So in other words, this person has no incentives to do anything bad. Now I can go and find the tweet, but it'll take me a little bit of time, so I'm not going to worry about it. But basically, they went and created this greed experiment where you had to sign a transaction, connect your Twitter, do all these different things, and this gave right access permissions to Voshi. So if they wanted to, they could go and send a tweet through how many accounts, maybe 10,000 or more accounts, saying send soul to this address. And then they could have made a huge amount of money. Of course, they would be thrown out of boogles. And if you believe in karma, good things would not come their way. So he created this experiment illustrating how people get so caught up on greed that they'll do anything. And we saw some crazy things happen, such as projects actually connect their Twitter to engage in this. In particular, there was Slope Wallet. Now this was a wallet with bad code and $10 million plus worth of tokens was stolen from Slope Wallet. They then went radio silent and that was the end of them. They were finished. But they actually connected their Twitter to this greed experiment. And I think from memory, Voshi did actually push out a tweet, but the tweet was more along the lines of, you shouldn't have done this, this was risky, etc., etc. And recently we've seen big accounts breached, such as Tracer. This is a wallet similar to Ledger, and essentially there was a dApp that had right access and it was breached, and someone managed to take over their Twitter. Now this is terrible, terrible stuff, but it is what it is. So first the point was, let's teach people to not do silly things like this. And then things have got crazier and crazier with recent meme coins. So what Voshi has decided is they put out an idea and then I'm guessing in their DMs and on Twitter, people thought, you know what, this is a good idea. So the idea is this, this time it's different, this time greed is real. I never thought it would become real, but it's impossible to ignore the feedback. I wanted to remind people of the previous experiment, so I just copy pasted some of the same tweets, just like last time it got out of hand. So many people reached out in the last three days and convinced me I can make holders more soul if I take it forward this time. So let's do it. It will take some time to figure out. Never ever send any soul to an address. Be patient and don't fall for any scams. So I've connected over some DMs to give my viewpoints because I like to give my viewpoints. And this person is a very, very bright person in my opinion. What their current plan is, they're going to create a website. You go and you connect to this website. You may have to get a whitelist in some form and I'll keep you updated on that. But remember, I'm telling you, don't do this, but I personally will be doing this. And then instead of just posting an address, set up a site with a wallet connect plugged into a smart contract that handles the funds. So it's impossible for me to take any funds, even if I wanted to. Voshi doesn't want to take any funds. There'll be no allocation of greed that will go to a team or anything like this. So this will have to be more of like an experiment that could turn into something like WIF. And how I imagine that would happen is all of the tokens would probably go out. And then if it started to do well, probably there would be some sort of donation system to put the tokens into some sort of authority. And then they start a Twitter, they start campaigns, they start all that sort of stuff. Also this way where you actually connect to a website means that you cannot actually send money from Binance to try and get the tokens because a lot of people are doing this and they don't understand the difference between a Binance wallet and a self custody wallet such as Phantom. Don't mint a single token outside of what's allocated to participants and the initial pool and give a multiplier to people who help spread the word. So this multiplier would mean that people would have the option to connect their Twitter. And if they connected their Twitter, you would be giving right permissions, which would mean when this would go live, there would be a tweet going out maybe from 10, 20,000 different accounts, basically saying maybe something like, I've got greed, here's a contract address, here's a bird eye address, here's a dupe address, go buy some if you're keen, something like that. And on this occasion, I'm gonna say, don't connect your Twitter to anything like this. 
but I am personally, I'm going to take the risk. So that is the alpha. I do think the price agreed will go higher. I do think it has actual potential and I do think a massive amount of community can rally behind it. I don't think the actual token name greed really can push it forward like whiff or bonk, but I was wrong about whiff. So maybe I'm wrong about greed. Maybe greed can go to a couple of billion dollar market cap, but all I want to see is much more effort going into these pre-sale metas. And once again, I will be joining this. Remember, there's no tokens going to anyone else, only the people that participate in the pre-sale. And Voshi's looking into a minimum cap and a maximum cap. So you can't be someone that just goes and sends a thousand soul and gets a huge number of tokens. That's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Is this too much of a DGM play for you? Let me know. Stay curious. And of course, I'll keep you updated on this meme coin.